started from. And the first thoughts in my mind where this is like reality for me, I was. I can remember being three, four, five years old, right? Me and my friends in the neighborhood, we all talking about how we get whooped, right? And so, you know, one might be like, yeah, man, my mama whooped me with a belt. We like, ah, that's it? Like, bro, my mama whooped me with a switch. Like, and I ain't had no shorts on. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Man, shoot, I got whooped with an extension cord. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so you sitting there like using those situations that are trauma. You know what I'm saying? Like you getting whooped, you getting beat and you got the, the marks to prove it. And y'all sitting here trying to brag to see who got whooped the worst. Like, and it's like, at the end of it, it's going to be like, yeah, he better, he's stronger. You know what I'm saying? When it's like, yo, that, you talking about getting whooped. Like, right. you sitting here talking about getting whooped. And so that trend, that I can remember, that was like my very, very, very first memories of doing that. And as I continue to get older, it just evolved. So what was like your very first you know, thoughts or things that you remember when it came to this man wearing that type of struggle, you know what I'm saying? Your situations on your sleeve as a badge of honor. And either one of y'all. I'll let you pick it up if you want. Um, I think me, I think you don't know for me. I, I think, you know, me being the youngest, I, you know, growing up, I think that's, that was my thing. I was like, man, you know, like I was, a, I was a boy. So my dad, like, he made sure, like, he, he took it. He, he ain't even no slack. So when it came to me, you know, mess up at school, I come back the next day, like, man, I got in trouble too, you know. And he like, man, we went through the whole scenario, which he just talking about, like, man, but I got whooping like this. Man, he called me out the shower, you know what I mean? So I think that was probably my moment, my first moment of experiencing it, going through it. <laughs> right. I think, um, so for me, uh, that's definitely a phenomenon I've seen and I've participated in. Um, you know, not just as a kid, even as an adult, we, we still do that, that, that trauma Olympics where we like, oh, my experience is worse than yours. Or you ain't go through it like I went through. I feel like that, that's something that, um, that's just something that as a people that we got to get better at. We got to, we got to, like you said, we, we can't value who had the worst experience because everyone's trauma to them is their trauma. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like where that comes from is, you know, like, like I just said, everyone's trauma is real to them. You know, you're not going to out real someone's trauma. You can't, you can't never get real to someone than their own reality. You know what I'm saying? And so for me, uh, I, I feel like as Black people, a lot of us, you know, we, we do have these traumatic experiences. So it's important to learn how to navigate these conversations, you know what I'm saying? And, and not turn it into the trauma Olympics, but turn it into the trauma hospital. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, let's not worry about who had it the worst. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's figure out how to how to stop it completely. You know what I'm saying? Because because that, that that's that's what that's what it ends up to. It ends up to no solution at the end. It just it just ends up to the trauma got measured, analyzed, but we didn't solve it. We didn't cure it. I wouldn't go to a hospital where they just told me how bad it was, but they they and they sent me out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> 